Trey is in Big Spring, Texas. Hey, Trey, how are you? I'm good, Mr. Ramsey. How are you, sir? I am better than I deserve. What's up in your world? Well, first off, let me tell you, uh, you're a rock star to me, man. I uh, I grew up idolizing Michael Jordan, and uh, you have taken his place. <laughs> well, I'm considerably shorter, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, I, I think you're probably better than, uh, with your money than, than he is with his gobs of money. But I, I just uh, really appreciate what you do. Uh, for all these hundreds of thousands of listeners, and and uh, it's it's changed my life, and and hopefully will continue to do so. Well, thank you. Uh, it's just I look forward to to listening to you on the radio and and reading things that you and your daughter put out. And uh, for what it's worth, I, I really appreciate it. Well, thank you. How can I help today? Uh, I've I've read your book, The Total Money Makeover. Also, Smart Money, Smart Kids. Uh, I guess it would be very easy to say that that I'm a a gazelle, probably with uh, tiger teeth, if if that's possible. I, <laughs> I've, I've been wanting to get out of debt uh, in, in a bad way for, for quite a while. My wife and I um, are not seeing eye, eye to eye on the budget. We've we've uh, we've actually sat down and had three budget meetings uh, for the past six weeks. I get paid twice a month, and uh, bless her heart, she's uh, she's gone along with it, and she's she's. Uh, I don't know. I, I just we just are not on the same page, Mr. Ramsey, and I don't know how. How, how old are you? I'm 37. My how long have you been married? 40, uh, 14 years. Okay. And so, what does it sound like when you all are not in agreement? It's it's just always a battle of some sort every day. It's, it, it makes every day, to, sir. You do a budget every day. Oh no 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 no! So she wait a minute. So day. are you I'm when not, you when you do a budget and you agree to it? She doesn't want to stick to what she agreed to. Well, she does, but with a caveat. She's it, it, there's always kind of a you know a a sigh, an underhanded. You know, it, it, it's just she's never happy with it. It's, it's always yeah, it's okay, but and uh, you know, I, like I said, I started. Right, out how much debt have you guys got? Well, I've got uh, $1,200 left on a car loan, a uh, $10,000 credit card, and then uh, $130,000 left on a mortgage. And what's your household income? About 130000 Okay. And so where is it that the budget is tightened so tight that it's stealing her joy? Give me an example well, category. Well, like, well, for instance, today, and, and that's why I made the decision to, to call you, um, her her car broke down and I had to get come get her, her my truck which she hates to drive and she just I took it to get repaired and she's just fed up with a car that's got 190,000 miles and I understand that but she wants to go out and get a brand new vehicle <laughs> instead of you know I've got emergency funds we've got emergency funds set up just just for how, that how much reason. is in, how much is in your emergency fund uh, right now it's, is eighteen hundred dollars. Okay, and, and you um, you make a hundred thousand dollars a year, right? Yes, yes, sir. And, and you you doesn't sound like you got much debt left. You ought to be done real soon. Well, that that's just the thing it is uh, absolutely, but it's it's small things like that. And there's always a nagging about well, we need to do this and we need to do that, and everything is just pulling us towards more, you know, another credit card or another car payment. And uh, you know, I've, I've begged, I've begged her to listen to your to your radio show. I've begged her to read the book and and have another point of view as to why to do something rather than you know your husband says so do it. You know what I mean? So oh, that, yeah, that doesn't work. And really, Dave Ramsey said so do it doesn't work. What what she's not getting is she's not getting why we're doing this. Right. And, and and she she understands what we're doing, but she doesn't understand why, and that's why she's bringing no energy to the table. Because she doesn't, she doesn't grasp the why yet. And so you guys need to sit down and back up from all this stuff and dream again and go, we make too much money to be this broke. What would it be like if we didn't have any payments? What would it be like if we were here and here? And what would it be like if we had $100,000 in the bank? What would it be like if you had a decent car that we paid cash for instead of an old beat-up $190,000 car? Here we sit making $130,000 broke. What would that be like? I want to pay a price to win for a short period of time to get there. And... You know, the why is just not big enough in this equation. You need to get get her to dream with you 
Okay, and what is the thing that gets her excited about the future if you weren't broke? What would it feel like to have a million dollars? And what would we do if we had a million dollars? That kind of stuff. Hold on, I'm going to put you guys through Financial Peace University as my guest. 